All right, guys, I think these underground rap Instagram pages have way too much power. All right, because I don't know if you've seen this guy, but I definitely have. And I mean, when I say I've seen him, I mean, I've been forced to see this guy. Like, I've seen this guy, like, he's all over, like, everywhere Twitter, Instagram, whatever. And I guess now you're seeing him on YouTube. His name is Too Slimy, and he has some of the worst music I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, bro. Hold on, I'm about to play his music and I'm about to like play you my reaction to it, alright? Oh my god, my ears. Shit, fuck. Oh my ears! Oh my god, guys. I need I need to like a little calm down. So, anyways, he has this one line where he says, Lil, you a shrimp. And that's like his whole thing. And somehow these guys made it so that they're like, I don't even know. They just made it into a meme, bro. I, at first, I don't even know where this came from. I saw like a tweet of like, I swear to god, okay Mar saying, Tell that host she shrimp. I don't even know if he even tweeted that. Like, they could have just cropped it or photoshopped it. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at is, like, the underground is just totally pay to win. Because what this dude did was, I don't know what he does. He probably, like, cracks cards or something. I'm not trying to be, like, weird or anything. But he's, like, this Mexican kid that looks like Steven Universe with Glocks and a lot of sicko merch. And, he, yeah, he just makes, he raps on, like, Bullymon Margella beats that are just, like, really, really, really uh, distorted. And his priest, I don't know, it's like out of key or something, but it just like hurts your ears, bro. It hurts your ears. And they're putting him everywhere, bro. Like, anyways, so someone actually DM'd one of these Instagram pages and they said, this whole thing, a money laundering scheme. Someone said, bro, how much he effing pay y'all? God damn. This guy Tubman said a bathtub emoji and two crying emojis. And he said, nah, real shit. How much bread he dropped on this mass promo? And they said, can't sign an NDA someone and then in the comments he actually said a kid named too slimy paid a ton of money to a couple underground instagram pages so they can post repost and promote them every chance they get even on different social media apps like twitter it's like the best promo deal hpk did it with this trash kid named elijah but this time it's multiple pages pushing it i'm guessing for one or two k each page for a week or varying more more on the price i'm not gonna lie like these guys must be making bread like serious bread off this because it's just like Dude, 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 And I don't even know where this kid is getting the bread or why he even thinks it's worth it. Because if you go on a SoundCloud, the song is like 10K plays, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, you know, you could, they, they were able to like slickly do some stuff, but like reason, this one is just crazy, bro. Like, okay, I'll give, I'll share, I'll read this tweet. It says, these guys are really trying to brainwash into thinking this guy's hard. Someone on their story said, if you think this is good, you're dead ass a sheep and just mess with anything, those dumb underground twitter accounts post which is most likely paid promo anyways stuff is so effing so trash holy just straight trash i'm not gonna lie like no hate it sucks and what's funny is like okay so here's the funny part like everyone knows it sucks me included but like it's just like a joke now he's just like a meme now where like you can say shrimp and i'll i'll, I'll shoot this meme where it's just like drake our future and it's just like sh shrimp so it's just like he's just like this meme now so i guess everyone knows him it's just it's just funny and they're even posting like <laughs> like people uh, speculating that they got paid for this and just like damn 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 yeah it's funny so what i really wanted to talk about is not that this one random mexican kid that looks like steven universe and makes the worst music i have ever heard in my entire like G dude it's so bad I, i'm not gonna lie bro like i was contemplating not even saying his name because you know, I, I don't want to contribute to any like hearing loss or like it's, it's just so bad, bro. It's so like I don't want to keep saying it's just it, dude, dude. It's so bad. It's like, God, God, my ears. Oh my God. Like, I, I don't even know. I'm still shaking from from that from that song. I don't know what it what it was, bro. It's just like you play ten seconds of that, it's over for you. But anyways, here's what I want to get into. I feel like the underground now. There's like this really. I made a video on this how there's like a formula to the underground, but this is like a whole different level. Cause man, these guys. They can just like, or not these guys, these pages, bro. They can just drop a song, man. And sorry, they can just like promo an artist. And if they all like mass promo an artist, like, okay. So all these underground pages, mass promo an artist. Hold on, I'm out of promo. Oh, sorry, put on a screenshot. And there's like this new method where if all these artists, or sorry, not artists, these pages post you and like a collective of them and you do it in the right order, you will blow up. There's not, there's no one that's going to stop you. It's literally a formula. So hbk posted he said how to blow up as an underground rapper 2024 method buy package from hbk underground or tubman where they basically post you every day you have to start here for obvious reasons obvious reasons because it's his story and he wants to get the bread 
He says, then buy promo from every single underground Twitter page, like Gas Baby, Stuff Blunts, pages like that with good engagement. And he's not wrong. You caught that Gas Baby promo, you caught like any of these guys' promo. Um, if you're trash, it's not going to work. But if you, if, I don't know, if you can just like pull it off and you have like a funny look to you or you just pay enough money, if I'm being honest, you, you'll get some good engagement. You, you know, uh, you'll get more than 10K, uh, 10K, 10K plays on your SoundCloud. Um, this guy has... Uh, eight, I don't know he just has exceptionally bad like sometimes people are so bad it's impressive like this guy is so bad at making music it's just like he's actually you're actually talented at making my ears bleed. but anyways he said then pay Ling Ling lingington for promo package to make tiktoks to your music this is essential like if you don't have ringtones to your music like you're just not gonna blow up guys come on i'm i'm joking then pay underground tiktok accounts like pink dread glow fruit snacks i'm pretty sure that's like a girl with pink hair purple i don't know but um yeah yeah uh, this you can skip this part but i mean it'll help they'll probably just do it anyways because they just want to like act like they're in with the that's not a diss them or anything i'm gonna get into this later and then here's what he says once these people use a sound their bot followers automatically follow them and do the same giving you traction so this is where i kind of wanted to speak about so all you have to do bro all you have to do is just have like a little group of people pretending they like you and then everyone will like you you know do you, do you get what i'm saying like you see this with Netspend where it was the opposite. A group of people pretended to hate him and everyone was just like, oh, he sucks. You know, we hate him because that was just like the wave. And then he started going up and going up and going up. He became cool with Kosama. They became close. He performed at Rolling Loud and everyone was like, oh, he's actually hard. And then the group of people messed with him and they switched. So it's so, it's like you can just flip flop like that. And if you're practically unknown, like it's not that hard to be honest, to just be a little liked. He said, then DM bigger pages like Hyper Pop Daily, Underground Sound to post you and That'll really put you on the map, guys. Then pay YouTubers like Basher. What? No way. Do you pay me? Oh my god. I'll be honest. I'm just kidding. I don't really do promo, but I mean, I don't know, man. Too slimy. You got a bag to pay? Like, make that boss call. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Duty, Bobalam, to make vote, to make videos on you, to make you seem relevant. <laughs> make you seem relevant is funny as hell. Then DM pages like Slay World, Albania, or Bug Too Sick to add you to their lore. Then pay shit post pages like lean pop or D and dill cheese to make unfunny content of you <laughs> you know what i will say though is if you know if you know this little seed it's like <laughs> he got it down so accurately it's funny he made up a couple steps like the tiktok influencers or like the youtubers i guess those are just extra tips that'll help you i mean like you know um yeah we, we could use some yeah you know what i'm saying right but anyways what i really wanted to go about is like how people will literally just mess with anything as long as they see other people messing with it's, it's actually so funny like this dude if he just had decent music the amount of bread he dropped he could have actually just ran a whole career off of it but um yeah, his stuff is just so trash dude i, I can't even like I'm, and i'm not even hating it's just so bad bro like it's so 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 but he's cool like i mess with him he seems like he's funny as hell it's just like bro bro please please learn how to like dude the one thing I will say you can learn from this is if you just have like a kind of unique image, like this guy, he looks like, okay, I, like I know a lot of Mexican people. I have a lot of Mexican friends and, um, shoot, I just got a text message, but, um, you know, I feel like we all know like 10 people that look like this, but if you know, like if you just, I don't know, if you're just in an area where there's some Mexican people, like he's like, he doesn't look anything different, but he's just got like a look to him. Kind of, I don't know. He just looks a little funny. And if you're just music, if your music just sounds different. Like, it can be trash. It can sound horrible. It can hurt your ears. But if it just sounds different, you're good. That's all it proves. So, yeah. That was kind of like... I wouldn't really say this was a rant. I just think the whole thing is, like, so funny. And I do really, like, bro. Do not do not go on SoundCloud and listen to the song. I, I'm, I'm, trust me, like, your ears will thank you. And if you don't, I don't know what your ears do if they're mad at you. But they're going to be pissed, bro. Like, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Trust me. Okay. Anyways, bye. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye.